I want you to close your eyes and imagine a tree. A big gum tree in the bush surrounded by lots of other trees. High up in the leaves is a sleepy koala just resting on the tree. At its base, a little wombat has dug its stem. It's home. You can hear birds chirping. This tree is precious and a home to many. Now I want you to open your eyes and see what careless humans did to that one precious tree and its environment. Hi, I'm Indigo and I'm here to put a stop to this. Logging is the process of cutting down trees in order to sell the wood. Logging is harmful to the environment in many ways and no way worth it for just some wood and money. When trees are cut down, it leaves damaged environments and big empty spaces. Without the tree's stable roots to hold it in place, the soil just washes away and also interrupts water cycles. Logging accounts for one tenth of the world's carbon emissions, leading to climate change and global warming. These vital trees also provide us with oxygen and without oxygen, we can't survive. Global warming is no price to pay for just some wood and money. All those animals you just imagined with the tree have lost their home, priceless homes because of logging. Across Australia, countless species have become endangered because of careless humans and logging. These animals' lives are no price to pay for just some wood and money. Last summer, these ecosystems experienced disastrous bushfires. Logging businesses, however, took no notice of this and continued to demolish unburnt areas throughout Australia. Endangered species have lost up to 82% of their environment, but the Environment Protection Authority still says logging of unburnt forest is legal. Any animals that survived the fires were threatened again by selfish humans and their longing for money. This is not right. Last summer, one third of New South Wales koala population died after a combination of bushfires and logging. As the next generation, it's our responsibility to change this, to make a difference. But how can we? How will anyone listen to us? Sometimes when we're faced with a problem, we choose to ignore it. We hope it will go away. We might blame it on someone else. But this is not someone else's problem. This is our problem. This is our planet, and it's time for change. There are multiple things we can do to help, including raising awareness about this problem, donating to and supporting charities that are working hard to save koalas and other species, and, and planting trees. Hornsby Council has set the target of planting 30,000 trees in our community. So far, they're at 28,000, and they need our support. They regularly hold community tree planting days to achieve this goal. One of the best ways we can create change is by letting others know, by getting others on board. Yunosuke Satoru, a Japanese writer and poet, once said, individually we are one drop, but together we are an ocean. Together we can raise awareness and stop logging. Together, we can plant trees and save the planet. Together, we can make a difference.